Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Hold on! Hey guys, welcome. If you know this screen, you know what game we're playing today. I figured it'd be a good thing to play, kind of remind us of uh, what Bethesda's last single player experience looked like. So, here we are, Fallout 4. Thank you guys for being here with me. We have six days or seven days. It's September 6th coming out uh Starfield. So let's uh let's remind ourselves where we're where we're at playing this. So here we go. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I've never played this game on PlayStation before. I was surprised to see that there was no PS5 version considering Bethesda's patterns, but uh yeah, nothing. So we're playing the PS4 version on the PS5. I forgot about this opening. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife the sun he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but it's a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Great opener. I kind of forgot about all that. There was even live action in it. Yeah. I went right to the customization. War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do like a like a real brief uh, customization here just to kind of see our uh, options, starting off with the sex. My turn, big guy. Going back over to the other guy here. Let me just slide in here. Watch him just do the little dance. I can make him do this all day. Uh, I'm going to go with this guy. Let's go a little larger. Yeah. I remember I was pretty blown away by this customization menu the first time I got this game. And, but yeah, looking at it back now, I'm like, eh, it's not anything too crazy to me, I guess. All right, let's get the different hair color going. I just go through some of these. I usually pick that one. 
Good enough. Bethesda was never known for their hair. We'll see what comes up in a Starfield. <laughs> All right. Do the rebel. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. Yeah, you're killing it, dude. Cool brown. It's like blue. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. Did you get a haircut? I'm glad she noticed. Check out the facial hair. <laughs> Dorisman. Man, that just looks like marker on a face. Let's get some big eyes in there. Some anime style eyes. There we go. Hmm. Such pretty eyes. Yeah. <laughs> this is looking like Gollum digging it. Uh yeah, I don't I don't really want to futz around with this too much, but I think I think that's good. And we're in. Yeah, it's interesting we're not getting like a so in Starfield, we're supposed to get like a backstory and some traits there. Really excited to, to see that. Uh, okay. Ah, good oh, what's up, Cods? 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brooklyn. Thanks, Codsaway. Of course, sir. I forgot where it was in the menu and I might have missed it, but I remember putting in my name in the last file that I had. And uh, Codsworth actually saying it to me, and I remember that being such a big deal, like sticking with me. No need uh, to get dressed twice. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Thank you, Codsworth. Autumn All right, let's keep moving. We only got so much time to play this, so. Probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. All right, let's go. Uh, let's talk to the man. We know what's up. We know what's gonna happen. And if you haven't, Good morning. you're in for a treat. Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Oof. If you'll excuse my language. The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Hmm. Well, because I know everything about the future of this game, <laughs> I'm going to say it sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Oof. I just need to verify some information. That's all. All right. Uh, yes. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Here we can put in the name. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we get we get the 21 points to put in to what we want to do. Uh, let's pop in a name real fast. I don't know why I'm going with Jiggles. It just, I don't know. And let's see... Let me give us some endurance. We got a lot to play with here. Um, but yeah, let's actually charisma, the charming and whatnot, convincing others. You can get different uh, um, pathways through your speech, intelligence, uh, affects the number of experience points earned. Okay. Agility, points towards vats. Forgot about that. And then luck. The good fortune. 
Uh, because we're not going to be getting so far into this, I think it might be smart to put some into intelligence. Maybe I can see something, or I'm sorry, a uh, charisma, something I never saw before, because I usually go the muscle man kind of dummy route. That looks fine for me. Sure. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Uh, wow, he shut the door fast. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Oh, Nora. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. I want to see Codsworth. I want to see if he says jiggles. Sir, Sean has... Hey, Codsworth. Sir, if I may, Sean requires your personal attention. Ah. He's his father, after all. Now, don't you touch the laundry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. No. Codsworth. Sir, I do so enjoy serving this family. Thank you again. Ah, uh, you can't call me Jiggles. All right, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Can't change your character now. All right. All right, let's go see Sean. And we'll uh, we'll play with Sean. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Oh, boy. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. I didn't realize you could move the camera. Uh, let's watch TV. That sounds like more fun. World Series? Not gonna happen. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Alright. Looks like we're watching the TV either way. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Alright, to the vault. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. I remember the first time I played this, I actually died, and I'm not really sure why. I guess I just stuck around too long trying to look at the neighborhood and I was like, wow, this is really pretty. <laughs> It's so different playing this game uh, on a console or without the mods at the very least because I'm so used to seeing it in like a wild perspective with like everything just installed on my computer. It looks great though. You know, it's classic. Relax. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, that could have been anybody. Didn't even say us by name. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Yeah, I don't know what I did that one time. I don't know if I. In the center. Hey there. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. All right, all right, all right. We're going, we're going, we're going. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you, too. Oh, my God! God, that would be so freaking scary. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jeez.
We did it. We made it. Huh? Everyone, please yeah. step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... Hey! Up the stairs. No, no, don't, be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Vault is here for you. All new residents. Just this please way, please. Please proceed in an this way. fashion. No. This way, please. Welcome home. This one is good. Just this way. Female and infant. Excuse me. Just step over to the table. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Right over there, please. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Well, those are good. Over there. Take a seat. Here you are. Good. Head down the hall. It's way. gone. Our home. Everything we Sir? had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh God, honey. How, what if they didn't make it? How long do you think we'll I be know down here? Time. Oh, we'll but be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical we items we have to get through first. Just, just checking everyone off the list. Come is in. Less comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. <sighs> Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. spoil anything for the story but i would i will say that it was very interesting uh making it to the end of this game and kind of figuring out what this was all about and uh in the meantime just doing everything else this game specifically did not pull me like other bethesda games especially in the um elder scrolls categories or elder scrolls games but nonetheless great intro here Vault residents must vacate immediately. Oh, okay, we're active. Uh, poor Nora. Come on! There has to be a release! Uh, is this open? I don't remember. There we go. I'll find 
find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Oh, man. All right, back out to where we were. So, I kind of feel like the new game, Starfield, is going to speak to the Bethesda fan base 100%. But I kind of also feel like at the same time, there's a lot of people that are going to look at that game that maybe thought it was something else. I feel like Bethesda overhypes their games a little bit. I mean, Fallout 76 was kind of something else. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I I think that the the main Bethesda fan base will really like it. That's just a thought. But as far as like two other groups of people, I think there's a lot of people that probably haven't even played a Bethesda game and don't know what to expect. And I think that may they might be a little thrown off. And I think especially by modern RPGs too. Like, I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of RPGs now based off of kind of that Bethesda formula that, you know, have just been expanded. So, uh, we'll see. There's another group of people that I think also may be looking at the game. Like it's going to be more like, uh, what can I say? Uh, like more like simulator based, which, I don't know if it's really Bethesda's bag, but who knows? Maybe they maybe they Roaches. convolute the game into the something just so incredible that it could do everything. Trying to figure out jump. Oh yeah, jump is <laughs> is a uh, uh, triangle. I'll take their roach meat. Always thought that was a weird button placement, but okay. If I was playing this game any longer, I would definitely switch it. But I'm not going to be playing for a long time, so. One thing I'm kind of looking forward to that I really liked in this game was um, their building and like outposts. I thought that was really well done in this game, but also had like a ton they could have improved on because just based off the limitations of like the Xbox One and I was running the X and I still felt like it was pretty limited if you started building too much, especially if you had mods on. Um, here, let's see what we can do here. My support. Oh yeah, I think this is actually how you get that cryo gun maybe. But you might have to come back. I don't really remember. We won't. Oh, we're back in the cryogen, okay. I'm so excited to see that new combat though. Uh, the gunplay looks really good. It looks super fast. I, it, it's weird to think that a Bethesda game um, is clunky, but I feel like nice. um, there's the cryo gun. Back later for you. Um, but like nowadays, when I think of a game like this, like it does kind of like come to mind, and I don't think that would have been like the case, you know, playing this game years ago. It's like, but now, yeah, it kind of does. You know, it feels a little bit more clunky, and that's fine. Um, but. It just looks like that new combat system they've created is so smooth. Um, and I can't wait to, to play myself. I think it's gonna be Terminal's cool. Got this locked. All right, we need a computer. What we got, ooh. Sorry, Doc. What happened here? What What happened here? Where is everyone? I'll take those eyeglasses, sure. Overseer, open evacuation tunnel. <laughs> it 
it's going to be really cool going from like a DOS menu system to, uh, you know, uh, some crazy futuristic space system, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, we, we, we did that. Thank you. Ah. Oh, I'm not going to waste. Well, sure, why not? I forgot how to melee. How do you melee? Sure. You're just all gonna go down through this. <laughs> I'm gonna use the VAT system on roaches. Okay. Now let's figure out how to melee. Okay. Don't know why that was so difficult. Used way too many uh, bullets on roaches. I think so. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Roach? I think it would have been actually kind of funny if I died in here. Pip-Boy interface required. Oh, yeah, we need the Pip-Boy. Have a nice day. Am I, I remember when that, uh... The uh, special edition came out and they had that Pip Boy. Oh man, I wanted that so bad. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted the Starfield special edition, but I just could not swallow the price. Pip Boy. I could have swore it was like right out here. I thought one of these guys had it. Everyone's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Walked right by it. I remember I set, I think I set my uh, my Samsung watch to have like a menu like this <laughs> just for the fun of it. Ah, uh, yes, this menu. We got our perk chart. I actually didn't mind this perk chart. It was a little streamlined, which I know some people either love or hate. But for me, I, I didn't mind it. I think people are looking or hoping for a little bit more like old school RPGs of like Oblivion and its predecessors to that uh, when it comes to this new Starfield game. But I don't know. I mean, let me know your thoughts. Like I'm, I was totally cool with Skyrim and Non and how they did that, but you know, to each their own. Some people like a little bit more of a hardcore element in their RPG element in their Bethesda game, I guess. Man, I, I, the music though, sorry, you know, you know, I'm going to talk about the music a little bit. Just an epic score. I love this. I love the music for this game, especially this, uh, this theme. Could leave that uh, title screen going forever if I could. No, nah, I really don't want that. But I could, I could leave the title screen going for a while just to listen to it. Uh, no, I think we're good. I think we did everything all right, but I do appreciate that before we leave. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing 
You're welcome. Oh, yeah. I wonder what kind of things they're going to put in these load screens if there really are. Because they're probably not going to be super long nowadays with these SSDs, but. You know, it's kind of iconic seeing their items and all sorts of enemies in there. And it's just going to be like now it's it seems so vast, all these worlds. So we'll see what happens. What are they going to put in the menu screen? Definitely not the way it was. Let's take uh, even the beer bottle. Was a pretty big moment in this game where you get dropped out of this thing and you're just like, holy crap, where do I go? It's time to explore, which is, is probably one of my favorite things about Bethesda games. Um, just the just being able to do that there's really not a whole lot of I mean it was kind of the start it feels like of hey once you're through the tutorial do your do whatever you want at least for me at least for me There we go. Well, hey guys, this might be a good place to stop. I think if you if you haven't played it and you're into these kind of open world games, I mean, this is totally one that you definitely should. Uh, but I appreciate you guys being here with me. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be playing Starfield on the opening night, probably at midnight. So look for the video if you can. And uh, oh, that music that just pumped in. Who's chasing me? Oh, we got some. We got all sorts of stuff happening. Ah. I don't have a stim pack, do I? Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Have a great day, guys.